first category is mythology. Is that correct? Okay, good. And the second book deals with spirituality. Okay, great. And the third book is fiction. fiction, right? And the fourth book deals with psychology. Okay. Okay, good. So, I just wanted to confirm that I had the right categories. Now, I have not um, read all of these books, but they are bestsellers or very popular. Well, some are, a couple are bestsellers, and one is, is very popular. So, I think that it will definitely basically a brief synopsis of each, then you'll be good to go if you want to purchase them. Okay? Alright. So, let's start with the first category. Hmm? Oh yeah, I, I saw you come So, hopefully between the two of us, we will give you both um, exactly what you need, and you'll walk out of the store today with some new material. Okay? Alright, cool. So, this won't take too long, so let's just kind of go over this first book. So, this one is about mythology. Okay? And it's by Bullfinch. And it'll talk about the age of, of fable. It'll talk about legends. It'll also talk about chivalry. And so, as you can see, it's pretty thick. Not too bad, though. So I'll show you. you. See this table of contents. You know, of course, it has the editor's note and all of that. And you know, since this book is used, you would definitely get a discount. Okay, but it's it's in um, good enough condition to where you can read everything clearly. Okay. So as you can see in the in the contents, here are all the stories, and they're broken up into different categories. So we have the age of fable or stories of God and heroes. Gods and heroes, excuse me. And there's about, let's see, 40, yeah, there's 40 of those stories. And then we also have the Age of Chivalry or Legends of King Arthur. And there are 15 of those stories. Okay. And then we have the third category, which has about five of those stories. And those are the different battles. All right. And so as I said, And this book I have read, and I just love the stories, like, just, well, first of all, I'm a big fan of supernatural things and um, things that would be considered other, you know, so things beyond the natural realm, I guess you could say. Um, 
but it is. I just, I just love superheroes, and the, the mythology stories just give you that sense of um, power and um, a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> There's just so much to be said about it, but let me just read this part to you. The justly famous mythology of Thomas Bullfinch contains three volumes, the major contents of which are retained in this abridgment for the student and general reader. Okay, so it has all of it. It's so good, it's so good. All right, cool. Now, this next book, I have not read this, but this is by Sam Harris, and this is a New York bestseller, and it's called Waking Up, as you can see. And so, it's a guide to spirituality without religion. And so this book... It's also used, but in great condition. And... I've heard great things about this. And basically... Is alternative ideas about human behavior. Sam Ayers waking up. I think that that you like this. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. So this book. in the, the category of psychology and this is another New York bestseller okay and this is called Thinking Fast and Slow and as you see it's by Daniel and I think you pronounce that let me turn it back around Kahneman Kahneman maybe don't quote me on that I'm gonna have to look it up but again it's a bestseller it's a popular this one is quite thick, so as you can see, it's very thick. And in addition to this being a New York Times bestseller, as you see, this particular
this one, but I have a friend who read it. He said it's excellent. However, it doesn't move really fast, but it is intellectually stimulating. And I know that it's something that you wanted, something that was intellectually stimulating, correct? Okay, good. So, this will give it to you. Okay. She's so good. She's so awesome. So, but thank you so much for coming in today. Okay, and I hope to see you again. All right. All right, cool. Cool. All right, take care. Bye. Hello there, I'm Laura, and today I'm going to help you find some new books to buy. And, you know, that's got to be a good thing because we all love buying new books, right? <laughs> so, I can see your friend is over there with my colleague. And your friend is in very good hands because my colleague is just amazing. Like, he's such a gentleman. And, like myself, he's a bookworm. So, we both know lots and lots about books. So, what I'm going to do is show you some books that I truly recommend. I really, really, really think that you'll like. And you can just tell me if you would like to purchase them or not. Okay? So don't forget that the customer is always right. So, you know, if you don't want to purchase a certain book, don't feel awkward or anything. Just say, no, I don't want to purchase it, okay? <laughs> okay. Right, so the first book that I want to show you is called The Potion Diaries, and it's by Amy Orward. And uh, this is a very sweet book. It's all about a magic love potion that kind of goes wrong. <laughs> so this is going to be a series of books and this is number one. So do you like these kind of books? Yeah, me too. <laughs> so it says mix one part magic, two parts danger and let the hunt begin. I know it's a really really pretty cover. I know they say that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover but how can you not because it's just so lovely. <laughs> so this book is $7.99 which I think is quite a good price. No, we only have it in the paperback at the moment. Is that alright? Do you prefer paperback or hardback? Alright, oh, okay. Okay, no, that's fine. I do like cardbacks, but paperbacks are okay. As long as you're reading the same story, it's all good. So, what do you think? Does this look something that you would like to read? Yeah? Okay. So, I'll put that in the yes pile, okay? As I say, we'll have two piles. One pile for books that you do want to purchase, and the other pile of books that you don't want to purchase. Okay, so moving on. Now this is my favourite book of all time. Like, literally, of all time. So it's called The Night Circus and it's by Erin Morgenstern. So 
So this is about a mysterious circus, okay? And literally one minute it's there, and the next it's gone. <laughs> it's so well written, and uh, this is one of these books that you just kind of like really get into, and you feel like you're part of it, like you're really there. It's amazing, so magical. So this is seven ninety nine. Ah, oh, you've heard of it. Ah, oh, brilliant. Yeah, it's had a really, really good review. I mean. Literally, I think everyone who reads it loves it, and uh, you know, I agree, I loved it. <laughs> so, do you have like a certain genre of books that you read, or? Do you like to read a bit of everything? Yeah. Oh, definitely. I agree. It is completely, you know, the best way to be, you know. Because you just open your mind to lots of different stories and characters. And it's just, I think it's better. I know people who just kind of read the same genre all the time. Um, you know, which is fine for them, I suppose. But I just think, hmm kind of like not opening your mind to all the different types of stories that are out there. But literally, you know, one day I can be reading a thriller, the next I can read a fantasy, then a horror, then a romance, you know, it keeps things keeps things interesting. So do you want to uh, go to the night circus? <laughs> yeah? Okay, well have to say I loved it and I really hope that you'll love it too. I'll put that in the yes pile as well. Okay, so next up we have a book by Lisa Jewell and it's called I Found You. So this is a hardback cover, okay. So this is about two women who have, you know, lots of secrets. It's all about, you know, trust. Who can you trust? Like, who can you really, really trust? I've read a few other Lisa Jewell books and I just think she is an amazing author. So, you know, I really think you'll like this. So because this is a hardback edition, it's a little bit more expensive than the others. And this one is just $12.99. So is that okay? So is this a book that you might be interested in? You're not sure? Okay, um, well it says everyone has a story, but what if you can't remember yours? <laughs> How about um, we do three piles instead? Yes, no, and maybe. Yeah, we'll put it in the maybe pile, and then at the end you can just tell me if you want to get it or not, yeah? Okay. Some books you just know straight away that you want. Some books you know straight away that you don't want. And some books you're just like, mm, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so this book I really, really, really loved. And I think I've got a good feeling 
that you're going to want to buy this book. Um, so it's about two strangers, one destiny, and it's called The Gollum and the Jinn. And it's by Helen Wecker. This is a really kind of amazing, like, grown-up fairy tale. I suppose you could say, you know, I just, I absolutely love this book. And uh, apparently the author wrote this as like just a standalone book, but it went down so, so well, like everybody loved it, um, that she decided to uh, make another one. So there's going to be a number two. Apparently it's not going to be um, for a couple of years yet, um, which is annoying because I just want to read it now. But I'm um, <laughs> going to have to wait. But I think it'll be worth the wait. But yeah, it kind of says something to me about a book, you know, if you're having to write a number two, even though you weren't planning to, just because it done so well. It's very magical, it's enchanting. I love it, I love it so much. It's about a very like, unlikely friendship. Two uh, people who wouldn't necessarily be friends, but then they connect, and yeah, it's it's just amazing. You want to get it? Okay, cool. Well, you will not regret it because it is just a fantastic book. Okay, so this is seven ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. And the next book is also wonderful. It's called Six of Crows and it's by Lee Bardugo. I never know if to pronounce her name Bardugo or Bardugo or something else completely different. <laughs> um, Lee Bardugo? Bardugo? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, an amazing, amazing book and uh, I loved it. Very like awesome characters, like really lovable rogues, um, six dangerous outcasts and one impossible heist. They have to uh, break into the ice court. The main character in this book is called Kaz and I know this sounds a bit weird, I know this sounds a bit weird, but I kind of had like a weird crush on a book character. Like, he was just so lovable. <laughs> Have you ever had that? Like, I don't know, like you imagine that person in your mind? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm weird, but yeah. Kind of book, book character crush. Uh, it's fantasy and it's uh, it's just oh, it's so good. It's so fantastic. And as I say, the characters in it are you know for me um, what makes it so good. I mean the story is great, but the characters and the way they all kind of intertwine um, with each other is just brilliant. The love, the hate, the friendship. It, it's just brilliant book. And she. Uh, she also wrote another series called Shadow and Bone. I'll show you the picture. You might recognise it if you see the pictures. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's right. Well, this is set in the same world. Um, completely different characters, but it is set in that kind of same same world. So it's kind of build up from that, really. Like, you kind of stay in that same world. and It's amazing. Seriously, I love it. I think you'll love this book. Yeah? Okay, cool. Um, so this is seven ninety nine. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. I'm so happy. Like seriously, you are gonna love, 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 love these books. <laughs> okay. So next up, we have a thriller. I love reading thrillers because they kind of get into your mind. You know, like you lay in bed at night thinking about the story and you know who did that and what happened. <laughs> Um, so this one is called Too Close for Comfort and it's by Eleanor Moran, okay? Devious, double-crossing, deadly, 
this group of friends is too close for comfort. So there's a group of friends and uh, one of them commits suicide. Or does she? Maybe it's murder. Hmm? Have to read the book to find out. <laughs> One of the um, one of the characters has to kind of investigate and find out kind of what went down, basically. So friendship, trust, possible murder, maybe. So, um, yeah, this is $7.99. Yeah? Oh, awesome. That's brilliant. Yeah, I, as I say, I love a good thriller. And I literally do. Like, I, I lay in bed and sometimes I just can't sleep because I'm like, what happened? Like, until <laughs> I've done it, what happened? as well. Okay, so the next book is The Dress and uh, I absolutely loved this book. I literally just finished reading this book and uh, it is wonderful. So it's about a dress that affects like so many different people's lives and all it is is, you know, a simple dress. Like there's nothing fancy about it, it's just a plain dress but it affects you. Like if you have this dress in your life it affects you and uh, I thought it was a lovely lovely book I was uh, sitting there the other night and I had a cup of hot chocolate and I was reading my book and I was just like this is paradise like so relaxing it's such a sweet and positive and warm book like it makes you feel all fuzzy inside <laughs> um, so yeah it's by Jane L Rosen and it's called The Dress I think um, this book would be really good if it was turned into a film. Kind of um, reminds me of Love Actually because like there's so many like different characters that all kind of intertwine with each other. I think it'd be a fantastic film. Do you think? Yeah, good. I, I really, I really love this. But it was so sweet. This book, like seriously, as I say, it left me feeling all like warm and fuzzy inside, um, which has got to be a good thing, right? Um, so yeah, it's seven ninety nine, and uh, it's it is yeah, it is a really pretty cover. Like, it's really like sparkly and pretty. <laughs> Okay, so I'll put that in the yes pile. So they are the books that I recommend. So we've only got that one book that you weren't sure about, which is Lisa Jewell, I Found You. Um, so what do you think? <laughs> uh, I mean, you have bought quite a lot, but no? Okay. I'm afraid, no, I can't make it any cheaper. I'm sorry, I have to sell it at the price that you know, we're told to, so otherwise I would. I feel really bad now. I'm so sorry. Okay, so I'll, I'll just pop that over there. Okay, well, what I'm going to go and do is uh, take you over to the till and, uh, yeah, we can do the boring part now, the paying for the books part. <laughs> but, good news, uh, because you have bought so many books, I, uh, I can't give you a discount on that book. But 
I can give you a special gift. Okay, so bear with me a second. I'll just get. Okay, so this is the uh, free gift, and it is a notebook, and uh, it's an emoji themed notebook. So you've got all the different emojis there. <laughs> so it's just a little, little thank you from us, you know, for shopping with us today. I know. I love emojis so much, like literally every message I send on my phone, I'm just like, emoji, emoji. <laughs> it's just something um, we're kind of experimenting with at the moment because normally we just sell books um, but we want to kind of branch out into selling like stationery and stuff like that so yeah I think it'd be cool like I love books I love stationery so I'd be really happy if they start doing it like full on because I would just be buying like books and stationery <laughs> oh no I don't get the books for free just because I work here I have to pay <laughs> Well, maybe I get a little staff discount, but I do I do have to pay for them, I don't get them free. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's go over to the till and uh, I can uh, bag the books up for you.